What's up guys and welcome back to another vlog. It's been a second since we did like a usual day in the life, week in the life vlog. I have been switching it up and just doing some more fashion focused vlogs, kind of mix them in, but we are back with another vlog and we definitely have some pretty big news. Mitch isn't here right now. I wanna wait for him to tell you guys the big news. But I am actually just about to go and get my brows permanently done. Meaning, I'm basically getting powdered brows done. So I've told you guys I've done brow henna before, which is like a temporary tint on your brows. But I've been doing that for about a year now and I just love how they look when they're done. But it doesn't last longer than like two weeks, I'd say. So I'm basically going in to get them permanently done like that. So I think it lasts like a year to three years. I have to confirm with them when I go, but it's definitely a long time. It's gonna save me so much time when doing my brows because I literally pencil them in every time when I'm doing my makeup. So it's just gonna cut down on so much time. So I'm really excited to get them done. I might try to get a clip while I'm there, but if not, I'll definitely show you guys the finished product and kind of what you guys can ask for if you are looking to get it done and see if your brow studio that you go to has this service so these are my brows before so we can do a little like before and after i just recently got them done so like the shape is there but as you can see there's just like spots here that aren't filled in like i have a, like light hairs here and here and like up in the corners so basically like i just want to fill them in so they're permanently like that but yeah i just put on some like minimal makeup because they said don't wear a lot of makeup to get it done and it takes two and a half hours so i'm gonna be there for a minute what's up guys it is Saturday, so the last you would have seen was me at the salon getting my eyebrows done. So obviously they're really dark right now, like they literally look like I have Sharpie marker on my eyebrows. But essentially after a week, the color will start to fade and it takes like three to four weeks for the true color to finally like set in. But it's gonna look way more natural and way lighter than these. The process of it was pretty easy, actually. I didn't really realize that it was literally a tattoo. Like, it's a temporary tattoo in the sense that it only lasts three to four years, but it's literally like a tattoo gun type situation. So there is some pain, but they do give you numbing cream throughout the whole procedure. Procedure, I don't know, treatment. I didn't find the pain bad at all, to be honest. Like, I know everyone's pain tolerance is different, but. I really didn't find it that bad and it took about two and a half hours and at first she just drew on and outlines like my eyebrows to be the shape that I wanted and then I was able to tell her like what I liked what I didn't like and then we kind of like redrew it so that I got the shape that I liked I'm really happy with the overall shape it's hard to say how I feel about it right now just because they literally look crazy right now with how dark they are I'll definitely be able to keep you guys posted on how it looks along the way apparently there's like a period of time this week that they'll start to scab and look a little freaky with like it looking kind of dry and everything hopefully it doesn't start looking too wild but there are, there's definitely some things you can't do after you get it like you can't work out and sweat for five to seven days you just need to keep it really clean you can't put makeup on your eyebrows after so it's basically like an open wound essentially because it's like a tattoo so you can't really like get it infected or you know you have to really avoid getting any like bacteria on them or anything like that but overall i am happy it's pretty cool to think that my eyebrows are just gonna be like filled for three years all right i finally have mitch here because I, I know like i've been out of it for a while because i was telling you like earlier in the vlog that we had news to share, but that I needed you to be here to tell the news. Yes. So We're going on a road trip to LA. Woo -hoo. I feel like we should back up a bit. We're going on a six day road trip from Toronto and ending in LA. It's gonna be quite the journey. It's going to be 
Louis adventure. is coming with us. We're taking the Jeep. Honestly, a big reason for getting the Jeep so early in the year was so that we could go on this road trip. We've been talking about doing this probably since the last time we went to LA. Yeah. We were like, whoa, how cool would it be if we like did a road trip here? And so, then to have the Jeep in LA would yeah, be extra so fun. Yeah, so while we're there too, um, we'll be able to have our own car, which will be nice and not have to pay for a rental or anything like that because we are staying for a month. So we found this really cool sublet for 30 days. Yeah. And it'll be really cool because last time we stayed in an Airbnb, which was nice, but this time we can actually pack up the car with household things, things that we actually need, yep. and not have to worry about packing everything in a luggage. Yeah. We're gonna see so much of the states. Yeah, we're gonna obviously bring you guys along for the whole journey. We'll vlog it all. We're not doing like a get there as quick as you can road trip. We're just doing six hours a day, take your time, and yeah. see, see it as you go and yeah. get see some cool places. We're doing like six to seven hours a day across six days, five nights. So we're gonna be able to see a lot of cool cities along the way and we're just gonna take our time. We're lucky that the weather, knock on wood, is holding out. It seems to be really nice and mild. Yeah, there's, there's no, no like storms. snow happening. So yeah. that was obviously a risk leaving at this time of year. We were unsure about yeah. that, but. We watch the weather everywhere is above like 10 degrees Celsius. Yeah. So it'll actually be really nice. If you follow me on Instagram, last year we took Louis with us to um, LA and he loved LA. We're literally going back because of him. Yeah. He asked us. He wants to go back to the ocean. He asked to go away and we're like, okay, sure. Yeah. Luckily, Louis is really good in the car too. So we don't have any worry about that. Yeah. We did fly with Louis last time and it was a longer flight so i feel like i had a lot of anxiety about it because he was in his little carrier for the flight and he was fine but i feel like driving we don't have to worry about him no it'll be good so excited so we leave tomorrow oh i guess we didn't even say that when no, we're we leaving leave. in the we morning leave tomorrow yeah so it starts it starts our journey begins so we're really excited the yeah. first day is to columbus ohio and we'll probably get there around like five or so and be able to watch the Super Bowl, which would be cool. This is definitely a journey and an adventure that is about to unfold. Like, we've just always wanted to do this. It's gonna be awesome. So we'll definitely bring you guys along for everything. This is the situation in terms of packing. Not bad, actually I'm pretty impressed. Like, I feel like this isn't like too much stuff, but this isn't everything. Then we have like our suitcases. So we're hoping that if we put the seats down in the Jeep, we will have enough space and i think we will like it's not that much stuff so literally today i've just been packing everything up trying to put everything in these bins we packed a bit of kitchen stuff i just have to do the bathroom and we're doing some laundry and louis stuff and then we're good to go but this time it's going to be so nice that we can actually bring some household items like even my yoga mat like when we went to la last year and flew you can only bring so much so um, it'll be nice because I feel like we'll be that much more comfortable when we're there just having a lot of like our own things And I did get some packages. So I was thinking I could open Them up with you guys I got a few things for our trip and like I think just some other PR packages came in but let's see I ordered The ritual multivitamin um like i don't know maybe a few weeks ago and then i realized when it came they sent me the essential for women multivitamin 50 years and up and i ordered the 18 and up one so they sent me a new one i've just been wanting to get on like a multivitamin especially while we're away and everything i feel like we just eat so bad when we're traveling so we're trying to find ways to just like just keep our health game up because um, lately I've been just feeling like my body is definitely different. Like I feel like in my early 20s, I could just literally eat anything and not be affected in terms of like my stomach. But now it's like, I really have to watch what I'm eating and making sure I'm taking my vitamins and greens and all that or else things get a little funky. So, ooh, yes. Okay, I ordered this hat off Amazon. 
because there's this inspo outfit I've been like spotting on Instagram and Pinterest with like a brown fur coat and like a red hat. It's really random, like this outfit that I wanted to recreate, but I thrifted, oh, I thrifted like this faux fur coat the other day and then I needed a red hat and then I found this Chicago Bulls hat on Amazon. I need to like make it look smaller. But I thought it was pretty cute. I actually don't have a red cap. I have like every other color, I swear. And I actually wear a lot of red, so I feel like this will go with a lot of things. And I'm just debating whether I want to bring it on the trip because I literally have so much stuff. But anyway, got that. And then I was not expecting this next package from Reebok. Oh, actually maybe, I think they did reach out and say they were going to send me a PR package. So let's see what they sent. Ooh, some sneakers, which I actually need some new ones. Always use new runners. Let's see. Oh, this color is really cute sent over these sneakers. These are the Reebok Nano 3s. But yeah, these are a really cute color. Perfect for, you know, when I'm doing my cardio. Love that. All right. And the next package I feel like is not that interesting. I wanna say it's this emergency kit that I ordered off Amazon for to have in our car. You know, just in case something happens. Oh yeah, I just ordered this kit on Amazon because we don't have anything like this. Like, God forbid something happens and we're on the side of the road or something, but um, I can't contact AAA. And then I also picked up these disposable face towels so i have mentioned to you guys before that i've had like sensitive skin for the past like couple years and i've had like redness and a lot of like little bumps appearing so i'm like super sensitive and kind of like extra careful now with my skin and what i'm putting on it because i noticed it makes a huge difference so instead of using a face towel that's just sitting in your bathroom and kind of like collecting a ton of bacteria to wipe your face i got these like um disposable face towels and i got a different brand like a month ago skin clean skin or something but i couldn't get that same box so i found these on amazon and the reviews are really good they're literally just like a towel like cotton towel and you can use it to wash your face and it comes in a pack of 50 of them so I usually just rip them in half so that I can double it and not waste so much but I really really love them I even use them to like clean the counter off after I do my makeup or anything to get like more use out of it but they're hypoallergenic 100% natural biodegradable so fragrance free so they're just super clean to wipe your face um, and like one of the sides is textured one of them is smooth so um, I haven't used this specific one but I use this other brand that was really similar. You can also use it to take off your makeup. So literally I use the one sheet to do everything because they're pretty big. So I'll like take off my eye makeup with it and then I'll like dry my face with it and then I'll wipe the counter with it. So they're actually very useful and I highly recommend them. We just ordered in some food because we cleared out our fridge so that we don't have anything sitting here. We don't have any groceries to make dinner tonight, so we just ordered from a new pizza place actually mm -hmm. that it's called Beast. And Mitch actually saw some pizza boxes down in the garbage room. So it's funny, we always get like new ideas for what to order from like what people leave in the garbage room. Well, if you have a lot of boxes, you know it's good. Yeah, there's like six boxes from this place, so we're gonna try it out. We've never tried it before. And we're just gonna chill tonight and then get on the road, not too early tomorrow, probably like 9 a.m. or so. And then we'll have a vlog that will be like a road trip vlog. So the following vlog will be the whole experience driving from Toronto to LA. 
Okay, the pizza came from this new place. Feed the beast. Look at the box. The box, the is, box cool. is so nice. And the pizza though. Let's go. Wait. <laughs> what? Wow. Okay. If you want to find the best pizza, go to your garbage room and look at the pizza boxes. Yeah. That's where you'll find it. It's definitely a hack, you know? Wow. And then we just got a Caesar salad on and the side. Yum. This looks crazy. This looks so good. It is now 9.40 and we just packed up the car with all of our stuff. I was actually pleasantly surprised it all like fit with lots of room left. Yeah, there's, there's, it's not blocking any views and it all fits like literally perfectly. Yeah, so... But I think I, if we were going on a plane, we'd only oh be able God. to bring two suitcases for a month and that wouldn't be enough. It we wouldn't. We'd pay for more. We would have had to buy so much more when we were there. But this time we're just so much more prepared, which is nice. Louis, are you excited? He's you ready to go? Louis definitely like unsure because he's just like, he sees all of the bags and I think he thinks we're going on a trip. He's used to coming with us up on the plane and everything. So maybe he thinks he's going on the plane. Well, I feel like he thinks we're leaving because usually if we take him on the plane, we get him ready. Ready in, ready his, in his carrier. carrier. So maybe he thinks we're leaving him. He's anxious. Aww. It's okay, you're coming with us. You're gonna be on Natalie's lap for five days. Yeah. So if we don't talk to you guys tomorrow, we will end the vlog here. I know this vlog was like not really a real vlog. We needed to update you guys on our trip because the next vlogs are just gonna be our road trip and LA and everything. So we needed to have this like intro vlog to explain where we're going and why we're doing it and all that. We actually talked about this in previous vlogs about going on a road trip and now it's actually happening. So we will see you guys next week for the road trip vlog, which will be really fun. Bye guys.